Hello my lovely Chocolate Labs, it's me, Chocolate Lab 1496, and this is my after breakfast haul. Sorry it was so late, I didn't get my horses so late, and you know what, let's just get into it. Right here, um, we're going to some pages and whatnot. This was at the uh, Arabian booth that they had inside the tent. Oh yeah, this one. And it came with a free coloring book, and this gorgeous picture of an Arabian. So this one this is definitely going up on my wall and that's like the only reason I got this was because of that picture and it was free. And then here is some spirit writing free stuff. We got this at Denny's. It was weird because like we just came back from Briarfest and we went to Denny's and just like, oh look, it's some um, spirit writing free stuff. And then this was a poster that they had at the park. Yeah, this was the poster, and it's got some activity stuff in it. I'm not a fan of spirit writing free, but, uh, you know, I like free stuff, so. And then, at the horse museum, they had this, like, huge thing on Manowar, so we got a picture of Manowar, and I love these old black and white photos. Like, I don't know what's about them, they're just, like, they're old, and they're gorgeous, and... In this photo, you can see Man of War is such a big, he's a big boy. I got this picture of Seabiscuit and War Admiral, the match race. Um, I love Seabiscuit. Seabiscuit was like the horse that got me into like horse racing and whatnot. So yeah, it's super cool to have like these old photos. I love them. They're really cute. And uh, here's some free postcards or something that they had like they had a whole bunch of free stuff at the um single day day point ticket tent so like that was also like their help booth and yeah it was really cool because they had a help booth they had everything there and there's like these little card thingies And then we found these um, magazines only because they had Manowar on it, and it's the 100 year anniversary of Manowar, and you know, it's just super cool. And these were free. I'm not sure if we were allowed to take them, but uh, we took them, and it's just like some information about the park, and yeah, they have a whole article on uh, Manowar. We grabbed two because like we weren't sure if they were free or not, but uh, Oops. And then we have, they had these like little trading card things. I don't know, of the celebration horses. I'm not sure if they started doing it this year or like the years after 2014. Series 17. I don't, like, I'm not sure. I've never seen these before, so these are really cool. And then, obviously, the parking pass. And then this was the program for the. Horses evening show. And so then the KYB dressage, I loved it because they did a Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin. Um, there you go, they did Aladdin, a Beauty and the Beast, and Who Wants to Be a Millionaire from Slum Slumdog Millionaire. I wasn't like really into this one, but uh, the Beauty and the Beast one and the Aladdin one were my favorites, especially Aladdin. I wish I would have gotten videos of them, but I did. I just didn't save them. I feel stupid. And uh, we got three programs, and because why not? I wasn't a little bit a fan of the programs like the cover this year like they're a little bit boring so and you know when you're at a bar bus you always gotta pick up the program like you just gotta yeah they're oh what did i miss out on oh well oh well yeah always recommend getting a program here, well, it's like our last day and we're like sorting out all my horses to get into the mail. 
Uh, we went to a booth and we were looking like at all their things and then the guy just kind of gave us a sticker. He's just like, here, have a free sticker. So, you know what? Always go for the free stuff. And then I went to Ride, Ride and Shine, I believe it's what it's called, their booth. And I picked up these blankets because the Cario Green Stables, uh, these are my colors, so... No, and these are like really nice quality blankets. I didn't get their halters because I can make halters myself, but these blankets are so top notch. Uh, moving on to all my horses, I got this um, man of war. He is staying in box. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna take him out of the box. You know, he's gonna be a box horse for me. And I got three Nazrudins because it was me, my mom, and my dad. We all went. And, uh, one is for sale. I'm not sure which one's for sale, but, you know, one of them's for sale. I think it's going to be this guy. Or one of them's for sale, and then the other two I'm going to keep and show them, you know. Because I show my horses, and there's nothing wrong with that. For special runs, I got... The glossy saffron. He was the one, the first one I got. I on the Friday I was at the ten o'clock one. We just like barely made it, and you know we were so confused where we were supposed to be in line that I think we're in like we were in the wrong spot and we were supposed to be at the end, but I was at the front. And uh, now I got glossy saffron. I'm not mad about him. Like I thought it was like gonna be all matte, but I'm not mad about him because he is on my he's not on my favorite mold like he reminds me of uh, the Ida Kiss mold too much but uh he's he's all right and he's like of my favorite horse colors so I got nothing to complain about and for the second normal special run I got Vahana he is absolutely freaking gorgeous like I saw him and I'm just like he is a bay roan She's gorgeous. He's gonna be impossible to show, but uh, he is absolutely freaking gorgeous. Like, I love him, how he's so purple. Yeah, I got a really purple one. I'm okay with that because he is absolutely, he is stunning. And then for um, the Bollywood Surprise, I got the glossy Bay Pinto. Um, I'm super happy with this one because he is. He's got some really good sheeting, and there's virtually nothing wrong with him. Like, and I love his one blue eye. You know, they did a really good job with the surprise horses this year. Like, they had a Pentalusa and a Chestnut Oviero. Um, so since I was like at the 10 o'clock one, I got this one. I had so many people come up to me just like, look, can I take a picture? And I'm just like, you sure? Do what you want, man. And I'm just super happy. I saw a lot of glossies around, even though they're like, you have a one in 175 chance of getting the glossy, but oh, it's all good. He is, he's just, I love the surprise horses. I freaking love them. For store specials, I didn't really like Dolly and Spanky. I didn't like their models. Like, even though they're super cute, I didn't like them. And I love to repeat the beat. And it's supposed to be a male briar. What up with that? So I'm going to take them out of the box later. You know, because I have an addiction to the bluegrass bandit mold. Um, and then with Clarion, I was looking for Mariah's Boone. I finally found one after like three hours of searching and I'm super happy with him. Even though he's covered in shiny marks, they're easily fixable. But like the one thing was like the lady had him um, priced a bit too high for my liking considering his condition and he's like so full of shiny marks. So I'm still, I'm still happy with him. Like, now I have three of fellows. And for second special runs, I got the matte, uh, pale buckskin. He was the one, like, as soon as I saw the releases of the, um, Bollywood Surprises, I'm just like, yo, yo fam, it'd be amazing if I got a pale buckskin. And everyone was after 
a pale black skin. But I'm super happy I got one. Like, it was such by chance that it's just like, hey, look. You open the bag, you get a surprise horse. Because I got this one on Saturday. I didn't go on Sunday. Because I had other places to be on Sunday. Because we went to Ohio. But I am super happy with this guy. He's got a little bit of overspray on his mane. But we're just going to overlook that. Because he is absolutely such a gorgeous model. And he's a buckskin. And I cannot say no to buckskins. So again, at the Clarion. I went through the... Um, the lady who sold like the pony pouches pony pouches by Lori um I went to their room about three times because like I got so lost in the clarion I went to their rooms about three times because I was just like oh have I been in here oh look no I haven't and you know the third time like each time I looked at the smart Johnson which is like oh I'll probably find a decently priced one uh no I didn't and, you know, all three times, they're just like, oh, look, you're back. And it's just like, yeah, I'm gonna probably come back and pick him up later. So, finally, on the third time, I did come back. I did pick him up, and I don't regret him at all. He's got beautiful, beautiful shading. And he is definitely gonna be an asset in my show stream. Like, sorry, Secretariat. Smarty Jones is here. And I got a free pony pouch with him. I love it. Like, they are such nice ladies. Go pick up a pony pouch by Lori. You will not regret it. This was my first buy at the Clarion. This is Jasmine. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's a freaking Arabian. She's on the weather girl mold. You know, my Arabians always get beat out by a Jasmine in a show string. So, uh, you know what? Hopefully mine's better. Because, like, look, fam. I got a Jasmine, too. And she is absolutely gorgeous. I love Jasmine. She's got really nice shading and dappling. She's a little bit dark on the barrel, but we can look past her flaws. And you know what? This was better because I found a thunderstorm who was priced twice as high as her. And that thunderstorm hadn't even placed, but neither had she. Anyway. Oh well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my after Briarfest haul. Sorry if I'm a little bit dead, but that's okay. Not like I just woke up anyway. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you want to see more. Maybe me going in-depth in my show string because guarantee all these horses, except for Bahana, which I'm so sad about, will be going in my show string. Okay, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!